Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a negative space acrylic pour. Uh, I think this is a 16 by 20 canvas. And I'm gonna start by puddling some of the colors that I'm using and then use air to push it around to manipulate it to where I want it. So all the paints, the color paints that I use are by Artist Loft and I mix them with Floetrol, treadmill, silicone, and water to get the desired effect that I want. So I'm going to start using turquoise and just puddle it here, there, and everywhere. Make big puddles, little puddles. I'm going to add other colors to it. I guess I'm making a puddle there. I <laughs> dripped. And one there too. I'll be using the negative space, I'll be putting the white on it as well. Just surrounding the little puddles that I'm making. In the center of the turquoise, I'm going to put brilliant blue, and again, mix the same way, same brand of paint as turquoise. So let's see if I can actually get it in the middle. So that's the intention. Yay. A little off-centered, but we'll take it. Wanted. So this is going to be a lot of blue over there. I'm trying to keep it controlled here. And I've got kitties scratching at the door to the top of my basement because I do this in my basement. Um, but letting them down when I paint isn't a good idea because curiosity is what kitties are all about and I have ended up washing paint off of their paws when they have gone places they shouldn't have. I spilled some paint on my floor, so I had to clean that up real quick. <clears throat> and I think this is off kilter a little, so let me try to boost that up so the paint isn't going so far this way. Um, next I'm going to use orange. I'm going to put that around the outside a little bit. Yep, there's kitties. Mama, let me in. I've had attention all day, but you have cats, you know that no matter how much attention you give them, it's never enough. Oh shoot, it's okay. I'm not a big fan of orange, but in paintings it adds something, so. Try to plop that within the orange so it's just going to look a mess, but that's okay. So, when I use the compressor, it's going to blow quite a bit of this paint off of the painting, but that's okay because it's going to blow it in a really nice pattern. So, you can see the silicone reacting already, so you get the chemical reaction going, which is nice. Try to pop. Plop that by the blue because I want a little purple. They're not even circles anymore in some ways, but it's okay. It's kind of cool looking like that. Alright, so I'm going to try to clean these up just a bit. And my white is, I just use Valspar interior house paint, low odor and satin, mixed with Floetrol, water, and no silicone. I don't use any silicone in my white. I'm just going to kind of go in between and create my white space. some of the white off of the sides. It's going to be blowing a lot anyway, but I'd rather there be paint all over the canvas before I start this.
using a straw, I was hurting my neck, leaning over, and I had seen, I've always wanted an airbrush, um, so I got one of them and realized that I can blow, just use the air from that, so I thought I'm going to try this and see how well it works. from upstairs. I have a Russian blue and she's got a fair amount of energy. She's three, so she uh, she's very brave too, like most kitties. Well, most kitties I've had, how's that? Okay, there. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. I think I got most most of the bare space from what I can see, and if not, that's okay. So the compressor is relatively quiet, hopefully. I mean, it's not silent. So let's see if this makes a mess or if it actually makes something pretty. I have to turn the PSI up a little bit. I didn't put red on that one. That's okay. So it's a little different. It's like way different. But it's cool and it doesn't hurt my neck. <laughs> That's what I love most of all. No neck ache. I'll be cleaning the cord off a lot, I can see. going to be an adjustment of how to use it already, you can tell. Reminds me of a mallet smash without using the mallet. Very interesting.